Coming to you from 50 Oliver, this is Easton News, and my name is Joseph Taft. And I'm Jack Ryan. Today is Friday, July 19th, 2024. Easton Police Lieutenant Keith Nunez worked his final shift as he heads into retirement. Lieutenant Nunez served 25 years with the police department in Easton after beginning his career with the West Bridgewater PD in 1994. He is a veteran of the United States Army, serving from 1986 to 2007 as a staff sergeant, having been deployed to Iraq during Operation Enduring Freedom from 2002 to 2003. After serving as a patrol officer beginning in 99, he was promoted to sergeant in 09 and lieutenant in 2015. He has the recipient, he's been the recipient of numerous commendations, including the Life Saving Award for Resuscitating an Infant in 2006. He's also been recognized by Mothers Against Drunk Driving for his enforcement efforts. As Lieutenant Nunez embarks on his next journey, we want to thank him for his years of dedicated service to the town of Easton and our communi community. Congratulations. The Easton Wings of Hope would like to make Easton residents aware of the Grandparents Raising Grandchildren Support Group at the Stoughton YMCA. The sessions are free and open to anyone. If you are interested or have questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. With any questions, you can call Teresa Tapper at 781-232-9383. Easton Historical Society and Museum is excited to present their August Open House on Sunday, August 18th from 1230 to 430. The theme of the month this time is Dairy Farms of Easton's Past. Come on down to the Old Colony Railroad Station to see their collection of milk bottles and a screening of locally produced documentary, The Langwater Story. Friday, August 2nd from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Join School on Wheels Massachusetts at Oliver Ames High School for an introductory running camp to benefit School on Wheels Massachusetts. This is for anyone from 5th to 8th grade. Run with peers and learn from Town Hall, uh, from Hall of Fame and award-winning coaches. There is a minimum of a $30 donation per athlete. With any questions, you can contact Marty Wiener at martybwiener at gmail.com. The Easton Town Pool is currently open, so to meet the demand of residents and offer additional recreational opportunities, they have doubled the number of operational hours for the pool. Community Open Swim is Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Lifeguards are on duty Fridays through Sundays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. To purchase a membership or a daily pass, you can visit the link below. Memberships will be valid now through August 16th, 2024. The Town Pool is also offering swim lessons. There are four different lesson levels for kids ages 1 through 12. For times and dates and registration information, you can visit the link below. The Easton Town Pool is offering touch-a-truck events for younger members. Dates are Friday, July 26th, Thursday, August 1st, Friday, August 9th, and Friday, August 17th. All will go from 11 a.m. to 12. These are, these are for registered members only, though. All are invited to the 2024 Easton Shoveltown Cultural District Summer Concert Series at Historic Oaks Ames Memorial Hall. Bring your chairs or blanket and enjoy a fun-filled summer evening with live local music. Free outdoor concerts are held on every Wednesday evening, now through August 21st. Pizza will be available for purchase, and Shoveltown Brewery will be there to serve their craft beer. On Wednesday, July 27th, the band Rocksteady will be performing. Come on down for a fun summer evening. You won't want to miss the second annual End of Summer Music Festival finale on Sunday, September 22nd from 12 to 5 at the Oaks Ames Hall. There's going to be an awesome lineup of performers, food trucks, and fun activities for the kids. Reach out to Amy at the email below if you want to be a part of the fun. Calling all Cultural District partners, the Cultural District team invites you to participate in the End of Summer Music Festival as a vendor or sponsor, set up an informational booth, tent, offer an activity, volunteer, or be a part in any other way. If you would like to participate or have any questions, please reach out to Amy Rodriguez at arodriguez at easton.ma.us or you can call 774-273-2997. This month, the Conservation Commission is raising awareness about owls and other predators at risk from the use of rodenticides, specifically the second generation anticoagulant rodenticide, or SGARs. Unfortunately, these can also impact our family pets like cats and dogs. Other alternatives to the SGARs include sealing cracks and holes in buildings where rodents can enter and adequately sealing trash in dumpsters so they can't get in. You can learn more at the Mass Audubon website, which you can access at the link below. After the break, you'll find out who's this week's Pet of the Week. And we have some exciting events happening at the Ames Free Library. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Jessica Block. I'm Megan Tully. If you've ever spent a summer afternoon at the library, you know that July brings a renewed busyness and excitement to Ames Free Library with our summer reading program. Summer reading means a lot of things around here. Most importantly, we have summer reading challenges for all ages. 
Using our online Read Squared program, you can track the minutes you read. Those minutes are converted into points, which can be used to buy raffle tickets to enter for gift cards to local businesses for adults, raffle tickets to enter for popular prize packs for teens, and necklace beads or raffle tickets for children. Summer reading also means completing those school assignments. But we've got great news. Most grades in Easton Public Schools have flexible reading assignments with either recommended books instead of required books or a variety of choices for your student to choose from. Check the Teen Den for high school reading or youth services for middle school and elementary titles. But the bulk of our summer reading program is exactly what it sounds like, a variety of program offerings for all ages. The big fun starts with our Monday evening family garden shows. Families with children of all ages are invited to Quesic Garden for free, fun, entertaining, and educational performances. All shows begin at 6 p.m. every Monday. Bring your blanket and a picnic to enjoy dinosaur expert Dino Man, storyteller Diane Edgecombe, nature presenters Eyes on Owls, and magician Mike Bent. Come back to the library at 6 p.m. on Thursday evenings for the Quesit Garden Concert Series. Every Thursday in July, except the 4th of July, we feature area bands and artists. Most bands run for 60 to 90 minutes. Bring a blanket or a chair, a picnic, and your friends and neighbors. These shows are fun for all ages, and all she shows are free and open to all. This month, we'll feature The Moon Bellies, featuring old time Americana, Quebecoi, Irish, and Cajun music on July 11th. The Moon Bellies are supported in part by the Bluestone Bank Foundation. Serendipity. Local sopranos Mara Bond and Sandra Eddy, accompanied by Alice Fu, who will sing opera arias, jazz standards, and show tunes on July 18th. Serendipity is brought to you with the support of the Friends of the Ames Free Library. And Matt York, who presents the songs and stories of Willie Nelson on July 25th. Matt York is sponsored by a grant from the Easton Cultural Council, a local agency which is supported by the Mass Cultural Council, a state agency. Throughout the summer and fall, we have a mini-series of workshops focused on sharing your story. In conjunction with our 300 Years, 300 Stories project, in which we're striving to collect 300 oral stories from Easton residents in honor of next year's tricentennial celebration, we are also planning workshops focusing on how to find the right story to tell and how to share it. This inaugural workshop, Babe and Queenie, Words of Wisdom for Future Leaders, will be held on Wednesday, July 17th at 6 p.m. Local author Janelle Pearson Campbell and her mother, Queenie, will share lessons and reflections from Miss Pearson Campbell's book. Using prompts from the book, Janelle and Queenie will guide participants to think about their own family stories and legacy. It's your turn. Share your story. Consider trying our very popular monthly Tai Chi in the Garden class with Vince. Drop in on Saturday, July 27th at 9 a.m. For a lower key movement, follow along with Community Qigong from the comfort of your own home. Log in on Zoom Mondays and Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. For our younger friends, we have some fun programs for you too. Kids entering third through sixth grade can drop in at 2 p.m. on Wednesdays, July 10th and July 24th for Snack and Stack. It's half an hour of STEM-based fun and games with a snack time at the end. You can also stop by for Quick Draw on Thursday, July 16th at 3.30 p.m. Miss Hannah will lead you in wild and wacky drawing games to bring out your inner artist. Teens, ages 13 and up, looking for a space to express their creativity, should come to our Teen Doodle Society on Thursday, July 18th at 4 p.m. Teen Crafternoon, is also coming up on Friday, July 26th at 3 p.m. Have some throwback fun making perler bead crafts, shrinky dinks, and friendship bracelets. If you're looking to, for a place to kick back and relax, well, our interactive movie night is not it. We will hang out to watch a fun movie, but as you watch, you'll look for specific movie moments to be spurred into action. Reach for the sky, sing, growl, eat snacks, and just keep swimming. Each child will receive a full kit full kit of movie magic to use during the screening. This program is for children ages 3 to 12 and their families. Registration is required for this popular program. Sign up for Wednesday, July 10th at 5.30 p.m. for WALL-E, 
or Wednesday, July 24th at 5.30 p.m. for Over the Hedge. Poison is our book club for students entering grades four through six. This group is a choose your own adventure style book club that will meet on Friday, July 26th at 2 p.m. Kids will take turns reading aloud and will work together to choose which path to take. As you can see, the fun never ends. When the summer heat gets you down, pop into our air conditioned library to join in at a program or just sit down and get lost in a good book. These programs and so much more are available when you visit us at the library at 53 Main Street. We are open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Friday, and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. And you can find us 24-7 on our website at aimsfreelibrary.org. Now through Sunday, the APCSM is having a dog adoption event. All dog adoption fees have been waived, so come on down to the shelter and find yourself a furry friend. The APCSM Paws and Pages program allows youth to read to animals and build confidence in their personal reading. Reading to the animals helps provide the animal comfort while teaching empathy in children. Join the APCSM on the second Sunday of every month from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. To register, you can email volunteers at apcsm.org. Have you seen this dog? Daisy is a Husky Shepherd mix who's been missing since July 16th. She was last seen near Howard Street and Route 128 in Brockton. So if you think you see her, don't chase her or call out for her. Just call 781-492-1185 with any information. Join the APCSM for their pet yard sale Saturday, August 3rd. They typically have a variety of leashes, collars, crates, carriers, toys, food bowls, and so much more. All prices are by donation. Help them raise funds for their homeless animals. APCSM is also in urgent need of wet food for dogs, cats, and kittens. Donations can be brought to the shelter any day between 9 to 6 or donated through their Amazon and Chewy wish lists, which you can find on the APCSM website. Now it's time for the APCSM Pet of the Week. We have some pets that are looking for their forever home, so let's take a look. This is Remy. Remy is a two-year-old rat looking for his forever home. Remy is very social and loves to be around people, explore his surroundings, and sometimes hang out in a nice cozy spot. If Remy sounds like the one for you, fill out an animal adoption application on apcsm.org. This is Buddy. Are you looking for a hiking buddy who's always up for an adventure? Buddy is a two-year-old male hound mix who's ready to become your loyal companion. This handsome fella is bursting with energy and enthusiasm, making him the perfect match for an active family that loves outdoor activities. Buddy is a bundle of joy who adores meeting new people and making new friends wherever he goes. If Buddy sounds like the one for you, fill out an animal adoption application on apcsm.org. This is Butter. Butter has had a long journey and is urgently looking for a home. He traveled all the way from Tennessee with several other cats in need of immediate medical attention and loving homes. The others have all found their happy endings, but Butter is still waiting. Butter is 11 years old, loves people, and soaks up any ounce of attention he can get. If you're interested in adopting Butter, you can fill out an animal adoption application on apcsm.org. Ever dreamed of being a filmmaker? Or are you already one who's looking for more experience? Well, ECAT has the event for you. Our annual film sprint takes place this year, August 16th to 18th. Participating filmmakers are given a prop, theme, and 48 hours to make the best film that they can. There will be some changes to this year's film sprint, so listen up. Teams can compete virtually now. Just make sure to be present for the send-off at 7 p.m. on the 16th to get your prop and your theme. It will be a household item. You can attend virtually via Zoom. Second, filmmakers will receive certificates to commemorate their hard work. Third, select films will be chosen to air on ECAT's YouTube page and channels. To sign up, you can call us at 508-237-7200 or you can send us an email, info at eastincat.org. If you need equipment, you can also reach out and we will see what we have for you to use but that goes for in-person participants only. Still have no time to stay up and watch your favorite shows. Like this one, obviously. Well, don't forget that ECAT has a YouTube channel. There you can find all old episodes, but turn on notifications to be alerted when ECAT releases new content you don't want to miss out. Our handle is at TV with TV in capital letters, of course. 
Do you know an Easton resident or an organization that benefits the community? Do you or someone you know have a special talent or a skill set that you would like to show off to your community? Well, ECAD has numerous shows and segments that may be a good fit for you. ECAD has always represented the talent and diversity of the people of Easton, and we want to highlight you. You can email info at eastoncat.org to let us know what you want to see on our channels. We want to hear from you. Like watching this show or any other ECAT programming? You know, that doesn't help without help and support from the viewers like you. ECAT is a nonprofit organization and we rely on some help from the viewers. So if you would like to help, you can submit a small donation on our website, eastoncat.org, and continue the running of ECAT programming. We'd be very appreciative. You can just go down to the main page, scroll down until you see the donation option. There is a QR code you can scan there. And as a bonus, when you donate $15 to ECAT, you will get a cat. Not the real one, APCSM has those, but this nice plush one can be yours with a small donation, and his name is Cubby. When we come back, you'll have your seven-day weather forecast waiting. And the town of Easton is looking for your help. This is Easton News. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the life. Just relaxing by the beach. What could be better than this? I've got an idea. What? I'd really like to find a forever home. Forever home? Yeah. Like Jack Ryan talks about on Easton News. A forever home. All those animals at the APCSM, they get forever homes. Why not us? Uh, listen, man, I hate to tell you this. Tell me what? Come on, tell me. Look, I can take it. Look at me. Come on, tell me. I can take it. Come on. Uh, we're not real. What are you talking about? Of course we're real. Look at us. We're sitting here on the beach, on vacation, being served raw meat, mind you. We're having a great time. How are we not real? No. No, thank you. I'm good. I I've had enough. I've had enough. Thank you. What are you talking about? Of course we're real. Look, it's not that we're not real. We're just not living, breathing animals. You don't even have a mouth, dude. Well, uh, oh yeah? Well, your eyes are just plastic. Uh, right back at you. You've ruined my vacation. I can't believe you've done this. Ugh. I mean, well, while we're at it, why do we need a vacation? It's not like you have a job. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? I'm out of here. Uh, Cubby, Cubby, wait, wait, wait. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Uh oh, well, you had to get it eventually. If you'd like to get your hands on a cubby of your own, scan the QR code on your screen now. Welcome back, folks. It is that time for your upcoming seven-day weather forecast. Let's kick it over to Chief Meteorologist Adam Carrero. This is your ECAT Weekly Weather Forecast. Recover from the heat wave and humidity drops. Temp stays in the 80s all weekend, but it's comfortable due to the dew point low. The work week stays in the 80s, but the humidity is manageable. We have another chance of rain midweek with thunderstorms. We get a break from the 90s and get to enjoy summer. I'm Adam Crow, and this has been your ECAT Weekly Weather Forecast. The Tricentennial Committee is still looking for volunteers to help out in several areas. So if you would like to help Easton celebrate its 300th birthday, you can email easton300.2025 at gmail.com. You can also visit their website at easton300.org. Effective through November 1st, 2024, Phase 3 water restrictions will be in place in Easton. For even number properties, watering your lawn will be restricted to Mondays between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. Odd number properties will be restricted to Tuesdays between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. These restrictions are needed to comply with the water withdrawal permit and to ensure adequate supply during the construction of the iron and manganese treatment facilities and the rehabilitation of the Bay Road water storage tank. Town of Easton is having the Easton Summer Olympics. This is for kids aged 3 to 7 and 8 to 12. Events kids can expect to participate in include the 50 meter race, shot put, javelin, hurdles, and the long jump. 
This fun event will be Monday, July 29th. The cost is $5 per athlete. You can check with the link below for times. Are you interested in sharing your art with the community and exhibiting your artwork at the Easton Town Hall? The Town of Easton and the Easton Shoveltown Cultural District recently launched an Artist on Display initiative at Town Hall. The exhibit will feature a rotating display of artwork for the enjoyment and appreciation of the public and honors the important role that art plays in the community. The Easton Shoveltown Cultural District seats art, seeks artists to display original artwork of civic, cultural, educational, and recreational subjects on the first floor of Easton. If you're an artist interested in having your work shown, please complete and send an application form to the email below. When we come back, learn about a ride that raises money for a good cause. And there are some fun summer activities coming up that you don't want to miss. This is Easton News. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Abby Malafato. And I'm... Oh. Ah! to you from 50 Oliver in Northeastern. This is Easton News. And my... Don't have time to stay up and watch ECAT channels all day long or miss your favorite show's time slot. Don't worry, ECAT has a YouTube channel that has all the programs that we show. So you don't have to miss any of the episodes or catch up on past episodes. Search Easton Cat TV, with TV being the only capital letters. The YouTube channel has playlists for every program, even some of the programs you can download a podcast version. We even stream live events through our channel. To stay up to date with ECAT programming, make sure you look up ECAT's YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get all the alerts for the new programming premiere, and change the alerts to all to make sure you receive all of them. Remember to search Easton Cat TV, with TV being the capital letters. So there's no reason to miss any of the ECAT programming. Enjoy. Last Saturday, the 12th annual Bears run kicked off at the Hall on Foundry. ECAT was there to catch all the action. Yeah, we're here at the Knights of Columbus. My name is Michael Goodman. I'm the president of the Columbian Corp that you all know as the Hall on Foundry Street. Today we're having Bears Run, which is a motorcycle run. This is our 12th year of this scholarship fund and it's in memory of our fallen brother, Bill Bear Mathers. Bill was a dad, a town employee of Sharon, and a member here for many, many years. He wore many hats when he worked here. And so we hold this run to raise scholarship funds that we distribute in the Eastern area every year, as well as honor his memory for him and his family. We've got a raffle here. Uh, we've got a lot of different price levels, so we've got something to fit everybody's budget. There's probably about fifteen to $20,000 worth of uh, swag here we're raffling off, and those funds will be used to directly fund the scholarship fund. The scholarship is open to anybody. We're open to those who are going on to trade schools as well as conventional schools and things like hairdressing Schools or other technical schools are also eligible to apply for the scholarship, and we encourage everybody from the local area to do so. You know, we'd like to really thank, first of all, all the membership and the, the members of the Mathers family. Everybody here at the Knights of Columbus puts in a lot of long, lot of long hours this week to put this event on. And again, Crochetti's Oakdale Packing in East Bridgewater, Roche Brothers right here in Easton, and uh, Pop Tops are all wonderful sponsors. You've seen the raffle prizes we're offering from a lot of local businesses, and we really appreciate their support. Most of them have been with us since the beginning of the run 12 years ago. And again, we couldn't do it without them. So God bless and thank you. We appreciate your support and hope to see you here today. Langwater Farms having their community pizza nights throughout the summer. Dates are July 26th, August 23rd, September 13th, all from 4 to 8 p.m. Come and grab a delicious slice of pizza and enjoy the beautiful Langwater Farm landscape. Get ready for a fun-filled day at Stonehill College for a great cause. Stronger Together Kids One Mile Ride at Stonehill is a charity ride with proceeds that benefit the Love for Lindley Foundation and keep on pushing it for Jeff. July 27th, the ride starts at 12.30 p.m. Waivers and more information can be found at the link below. House of Possibilities is currently running their Best Little Buddies program. This is a story time group that runs every Monday from 10 to 11 a.m. at the Hope Pavilion. Bring your kids for a story time, craft, and snack. You can contact a.waldron at houseofpossibilities.org for more information if you'd like. This summer, Easton Wings of Hope will be hosting free movie nights at Frothingham Park. Movies will be held every Thursday at dusk by the basketball court from now until August 8th. If the weather does become an issue, then they will postpone any scheduled dates for a later available date. For start times and updates, they will be posted at the beginning of each week on the Wings of Hope social media platforms at Easton Wings of Hope on Instagram and Facebook. They will be partnering with local food vendors like Cheesy Chicks and Sweet 16 Ice Cream. Each movie night, there will be a food truck located on Park Street. 
All you need to bring is your favorite snack, something to sit on, and some bug spray because it is that time of year. Join the friends of Borderland for a three-floor Ames Mansion tour. Take a step back into time as a volunteer guide brings to life the history of Oaks and Blanche Ames. These are the only tours that explore all three floors of the former estate of Oaks and Blanche Ames. Tours are $10 per person and children and... Okay. Tours are $10 per person. Children and members of the Friends of Borderland are free. Tickets can only be purchased the day of the tour, beginning at 11.30 a.m. in front of the Ames Mansion. Southeastern Regional is presenting the first ever annual Set Skills USA Car Show on Saturday, August 17th from 12 to 4 p.m. There will be music, food trucks, games, prizes, and more. This event will take place at 250 Foundry Street. Scan the QR code on your screen to learn more. Easton's Office of Community Engagement and Programming, in collaboration with Special Olympics, is proud to present the first community bocce tournament. Saturday, July 27th, 10 a.m. at Moscato Stadium, athletes of all abilities will come together to compete in this dynamic and supportive environment, fostering connections and sportsmanship. This event is designed for individuals with or without disabilities to learn and play together. So reach out to programs at easton.ma.us if you have any questions or comments regarding this program. Shoveltown Brewery is excited to announce their Summer Fest July 27th at 12 p.m. Enjoy live music, delicious food, craft beer, and games for kids with excellent musicians, Kick the Bag, and BJ Knights. Don't miss out on this summer celebration. Wednesday, the Brock Tones were headlining at Oaks Ames Memorial Hall, and the Moonbellies were over at the Quisa Garden, so it is that time for your Music Minute. Hi, I'm Wyatt Fain, and welcome back to the Music Minute. I'm here with Bernie from the Brock Tones. Now, what brings you out to Easton? Yet again, from last Jackie year. Jackie Colombo. Jackie Colombo. He does this for every year for us. He calls us up and says, hey, don't forget to play uh, Eastern Oaks Ames on uh, such and such a date. And here we are. And we're and happy to be here. Yeah, you love it here? Yeah, we love having you guys here. I remember I, I watched your whole show uh, last year. I loved it. Is it going to be you know, different this year? What kind of things are you be playing for us? Uh, you know, some classic older rock, you know, some uh, Steely Dan, mm -hmm. some stuff. Do you all live in Brockton? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, four guys from Brockton. Bringing Craig. Yeah, it's Craig Cotter. He's yeah. my brother from Brockton. That's right. He's right here. Brother? This guy here. This guy here is hey. my first rock and roll uh, partner in 1965. Anything you guys want to say? I know you already had a message for us. That's right. And it's yeah. the same message. Support, Support local, local music. Live music. Yeah. Support oh. local live music. Exactly. Come see the bands. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Oak Sames Hall. Craig Cotter and the Hurricane. That's right. The, the fabulous Brock Tones. Thank Come you. Come see us. All right, thank you so much for watching the Music Minute. My name is Wyatt Fain. Now back to you guys in the studio. All right, Wyatt. Thanks, Wyatt. All right, thank you. Um, I'm Juliana. I'm Hank. I'm Roisin. Um, the name of our band is the Moon Bellies. Um, and Tom and Steve, who are not standing right here, are also a part of our band. So a subset of us had always been playing together for a while. Hank and I kind of grew up playing together. We had the same music teacher. He plays with his dad. Um, and Steve, who is also in our band, is friends with Hank's dad. And <laughs> we were also friends with Roisin. Um, and, and so we all kind of just like merged together because we were all playing together in like little separate groups. And then we said, why don't we just put it all together? Does anyone want to add to that? No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> our booking guy, Steve, over there, um, he, he books all of our gigs. He's very good at it. And uh, he does play here. Yeah, he, he has his own band. He plays here. Sure. Yeah, we play a lot of traditional music, um, some American traditional music, some Quebecois, a lot of Irish. What am I what am I forgetting? Yes, we do a lot of originals, too. That's that's right. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. This has been Joseph Taft, and I actually grilled a chicken for like two hours yesterday. I'm Jack Ryan. How'd that go? You know, not that well. He didn't tell me why he crossed the road. This has been Easton News.